Excuse me, beige. We are live. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday, everybody. We made it. We did it. Barely. I know. You had a half day today. I took a lot of days off this week because that's the only thing that's getting you through a boring week where there's just snow on the ground. Well, you worked hard last week. You deserve that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me get myself logged in here. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. It's dinner time. People going to tune in to us at dinner time? I don't know. We'll see. We haven't even had dinner yet. Hi, Nicole. Beja says hi, too. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we still need to figure out what we're going to get for din. That's right. Me and Nicole chatted about... Uh, the lack of Mookie Betts on this Red Sox team oh, yesterday. It's so heartbreaking. It was kind of like a, a charade last year because it just kind of got pushed to the side. I know. And we were like, oh, yeah. All good, though. It's sad. You won a World Series, so. Hi, little Pat. He's still our boy. What's oh. up, Pat? I know. What's going to become of our outfield? We got a good outfield. We, we were all right. Jackie Bradley Jr.'s. Oh, we still have him? He's, he hasn't gone anywhere yet. Yeah, keyword. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm holding out for Jackie. I literally Let's thought... Let's bring him back. Because they, they all were completely wiped out. I didn't even think that he was... Nah, like, JBJ is still, still floating around. Beja, are you kidding me? She just wants to be part of the fun. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> she misses us. She wants to be in on the action. But yeah, JBJ is still floating around. Well, good for him. Alex Verdugo, he's out there. Um... Yeah, we got, got a couple people. I'm just so happy there's going to be games. Yeah. 12% capacity at Fenway, which, I mean, can you imagine those ticket prices? I think they said it was like, <laughs> they, someone did the math yeah. of like how many people can actually go into the stadium. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. But, I mean, is that vendors and is, is, does That's that true. include vendors and yeah, is um, it just butts security? In, butts in the seats or like yeah. people that are working. That's true. But then how much are they going to cost? And oh, yeah. The ticket prices are going to be. Bruins are playing damn good. So um, I'm sure the Bruins tickets will be crazy. Celtics. To be determined. Uh, they might sell <laughs> tickets just, just until the fourth quarter. Because that's when they usually crap the bet on us. So oh. um, I'm just ready for sports. Yeah. And warm weather. And sunshine. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, let's do it. Get me there. That's right. Pat, um, what is it? Down East just released another cider. Pat's probably already had, and he's probably giving me a thumbs down. <gasps> Whoa! As Lord. I live and breathe. My Lord. Gal. <laughs> Gal's here. Lord. <laughs> Pleasantly surprised. Lynn, we got one from you tonight. <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> Lynn has to be an has has to have a surprise too, you know. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, give us dinner ideas. We're thinking Chinese. Yeah. That's what I'm leaning towards cuz I don't feel like cooking. Or uh, I don't know. We got a box of Cheez-Its. No, that's good for like munchies. That's good for munchies while we're drinking beers. <laughs> yeah. We actually have a lot of beers. We do have a um, lot of beers. Still, and I have some sitting apparently at the refrigerator at the gym, too. So mm -hmm. I'll pick those up tomorrow morning. Perfect. And, yeah, we got a lot. So Chipotle we'll, is a good option, Pat. Yeah, I had Chipotle last week. Yes, you did. I saw the napkins. Yeah. <laughs> we got Mel D3. D3 wow. was... Uh, Everyone's showing up D3, for you ready for a workout tomorrow morning? Oh, Stefan's here. Stefan's in the house. He might have a date tonight, so I don't know. Oh, Stefan, is this where you bring your dates? This is... To come see us? Stefan usually hangs out for a bit, then he's like, I gotta go, and he's like, gotta get ready for a date. Stefan is actually moving this weekend. Is he? He is. Into a fancy, bougie place. Oh, sweet. Does it have a spare room? Hmm, me hmm. thinks it does. Me thinks it does. Welcome back, Second Wind. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Second Wind's back. All right. What's up, Steph? Welcome. We got a crew. We got a crew. D3, I'll actually touch base with you after this. So uh, 
We gotta get things going. Hang with my friends tomorrow. Good, you deserve that. Hang with my friends. Boys night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be fun. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Good. No, I'm not jealous. I'm happy for you. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Gonna, yeah. gonna be a good time. See, uh, we're heading to Patriot Place, so um, I might have to get there before my friends and might have to visit Wormtown. See what they got on tap there. You are going to be at Gillette quite a bit this weekend. Yes, I will. So for anyone that doesn't know, I will be giving vaccines starting this Sunday at Gillette Stadium. So because I haven't a vehicle yet, this guy gets to drive to Gillette to drop me off and pick That's me right. up. That's right. She's saving the world one shot at a time. <laughs> oh, men's night. I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah, men's night. Men's night. You're men. Men's. men's. <laughs> yeah, I might. Uh, yeah, if, you, if I'm up there early, I might. Go to Wormtown first and go visit them. See what... That would be like my first brewery I've visited and True. sat down. Well, it's more of like a tap room as opposed to a brewery. Yeah. Right? Oh, no, they brew the beers up there. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to pitch when you pick me up on Sunday. If they're open, slide on in. Because after 11 hours of inoculating humans, so I'm going to need a little refresher. <laughs> so Wormtown, Wormtown, if you go up to Gillette Stadium and get a vaccine, Wormtown was offering that... I guess you could show like your card and mm. they'll give you a free pretzel. So I'm wondering if you're actually giving the vaccines, does that They'd be they'd be running out of pretzels. They oh yeah. They'd be <laughs> eating pretzels. I'd be having pretzels for every meal while I was there. Yeah. <laughs> but what do you think? Should we get going? Yeah, I'm down. I'm so excited to dive into these yeah. actually. So it's been a long week. It's yeah. it's just been a long, boring week. Is I know for me at work there's nothing to do because uh there's it didn't snow. Yeah, it didn't snow. And we had a nice mild week this week. And when I'm yeah, it's very nice. I'm not complaining. The snow is melting. So uh happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Sorry. Welcome to this <laughs> special Friday edition of the Craft Bear Campbells. Live on Instagram. Woohoo! Have we done a Friday before? I'm not sure. I don't think we have. Usually I'm just like so pooped come and Fridays. Usually. want to be a gremlin on the couch. And usually I'm just running in from the gym on Friday, so. That's true too. I did not attend tonight. Uh, Slacker. Yeah, that's all right. I'll just be there. Kidding. I'll be there tomorrow morning. <laughs> You're much better than I am. However. But like everybody else, everyone well deserved beers on Friday, so however, go ahead. Oh, however, just speaking of the gym and motivation and things like that. We ordered a Peloton. Yeah, oh yeah. And it's coming on Friday, next Friday. So we will not be doing an episode next Friday. And I'm getting <laughs> cycling kits. <laughs> what are cycling kits? Like the, the cyclists wear, like the the tights, the spandex. Sweet. On on the Peloton. Sweet. Can't wait. Hopefully no one's behind me looking at my butt. I am. But give me those cheeks. Let's get started here. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Happy Friday. Um, as you know, on this show. Um, we sample beers. We get beers. We've been doing it, keeping it local lately, because mm -hmm. uh, we want to pump up our local breweries and local beers and just kind of support what's around us for now. But um, yeah, here we like to share a beer. That way you don't get wasted. Per you know, you could drink one of these beers on your own, but it's it's more fun to share it with a friend, a lover, a lover. Um, and that way you don't get wasted. So tonight we are going to share our first share of beer. What we're going to do is Dale's Choice. Well, we're going to do this one first. So this one is called Sundance. It's by 67 Degrees Brewing Company. Thank you, Melanie and Steve, for that. Thank you, Melanie and I, th Steve. This is the second time we've done 67 Brewing. It is. I'm 67 very, Degrees. I'm very, very excited. Yeah, they've, they're making good beers. I'm pumped on this brewery. Yeah, right so now. we tried these right after Christmas. Yeah. Since we had tried them for the first time on Christmas at Melanie and Steve's house. Yes. And I'm just, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm ready. everything we had have, have had from them is awesome. Has been delicious, um, yes. And they, I think they just opened too, so. Well, this says one year of beer. Oh, one, so. One trip around the sun. Let's dance. So that's why it's called Sundance. And it's got like movie rails on it. Yeah, um, I'll have you show. And it has all their different beers. Oh, I didn't realize that. This is my first time looking at the can. So you're really getting. I like just picked it up today. Footage right now. I just picked it up today. This is awesome. Yeah, so I can't yeah. wait to try all of these beers. It is a uh, golden ale brewed with heather and honey. Who's, Who's heather? Heather. <laughs> heather. You brewed. Brewed. 
If you hear any body slams, by the way, it's the people upstairs. It's Friday night, and it's SmackDown. Like, there's legit wrestling matches upstairs. So if you hear a commotion, it's not us. No, clearly. It's not Beja. It's the heavyweight champions upstairs. Who is she? Lucha Libre upstairs. So if you hear a commotion... Don't be alarmed. No. This happens all the time. We're used to it at this point. Two, yeah. two years of dealing with that while studying for exams in nursing school. Highly recommend. Yeah, so if you hear a commotion, disregard. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the bit. Let's get back to Heather. So this is Sundance Golden Ale brewed with Heather and Honey. It's a 6.5%. And I'm ready to dive in. Yeah, I'm pumped for this. It's a golden ale. Oh. But uh, Gal wants to know who is she? Uh, yeah. Who is she? Yeah. Heather. Ooh, this this smells delightful. Is that what all Heathers smell like? I haven't a Heather. <laughs> I haven't one either. I haven't a Heather. <laughs> Any Heathers out there, give let, us a buzz. Let us know. <laughs> let us know. So interesting. Well, we're going to have to look that up. Like, what is Heather? What is Heather? I think Heather is like a, a flower. Is it? I think it's um it's gonna it's gonna give us some floral scents. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Melanie said it's so good. Oh, I'm ready to try. Okay. This smells delightful. I can smell the honey. This smells great. All right. Share a beer. Cheers. Sundance. Whoa. This is a very good golden ale. This is delicious. This is delicious. I like this. I'm not sure what Heather tastes like, but this tastes delicious. <laughs> and you're never going to find out. No. <laughs> um, you definitely get the honey right away from this, and it's very nice. So if you have to have a performance, singing performance later on, you could probably gargle this, and it'll probably get you where you're going. Mm, mm, lu lubricate the, the vocal cords, yes. But this is delicious. It is. It's very nice. 67 degrees brewing. Well done with this. This is, dare we say crushable i would say crushable. i could i could drink many of these this is delicious definitely crushable that was only one sip too i know this is really really nice usually golden ales are pretty basic no oh, this is good but this is very nice and i'm actually i actually really don't like honey i'm not a honey fan whatsoever don't even like them on my acai bowls but it's so like you get it up front like you were saying but it's not overpowering it's not heavy yeah no it's very smooth it's, it's just like a nice balance in the flavor you could drink a lot of these i haven't i don't know what heather tastes like d3 i we're gonna have to dive a little further i know into the heather for some work yeah maybe we'll have to visit the brewery and be like where do you keep your heather and there's a big <laughs> bucket of it and they're like hey, smell it we're gonna have to do some research yeah you know? but this is as my sister said this is very good it is this is really nice i could drink many of these mm -hmm. this is this is a good summer beer. This is, hell, you could drink this summer, spring, but if you're just out at a barbecue, this is a good summer beer right yeah, here. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a good summer beer. Heather's a purple flower that kind of looks like lavender. Thank you, Stefan. Thanks, Stefan. Did you know that off the top of your head, or did you have to look it up? Google it. He asked his date. Zero, <laughs> asked his date. Zero judgment. I'm, I'm like, genuinely curious. He asked um, his date. Did you see what I did after? No. Thanks, Stefan. Oh. Nerd alert. <laughs> <laughs> But this is, this is delicious. Like we both don't wear glasses. <laughs> no. Back to the beer. Back to the beer. This, this is very nice. Very, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> very good. Um, yeah, I do enjoy it. I won't, what would you compare this to? I know. I've been, I've been trying to... It's not as like... I mean, it's a golden ale, but that's a wheat. I was going to say blue moon, but it's not. No, I know. There's really nothing we can compare it to for well, you... For you folks at home, but... Well, if anybody's had the Flounder Golden Ale by, um... Oh, my God. Is it Cisco? Flounder? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think it's Cisco. Similar to this, mm. but the honey gives it, obviously, a little extra sweetness. Um, you did know. Stefan, very impressive. I'm, I'm actually very impressed with you right now. So thank you for that insight. <laughs> um, but then the only other honey beer that comes to mind is the Rapscallion Honey, which I do not like. I don't think I've had that one. It has like, um, again, everybody has different flavor palettes. It's not for me. I really don't like it. It's, I don't know, it has a funky flavor to it. This is way better than that. And if you're someone that is new to our channel or new to craft beers and you're used to drinking, say, um, just regular light beers like Bud Light or Coors Light, mm -hmm. and you usually those people have graduated onto like a blue moon. They've had it at Fenway Park. Oh, Karen's here. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> if you if if you're one of those drinkers where you've had, you know, those kinds of beers like Bud Lights and whatnot, this is you'll like this. This is this would be a good beer for those people. Yeah, a good like segue transition yes, of beer. Yes, absolutely. If you're again new to craft beers and you go to a brewery, find the ales, find yeah. the pale ale. Golden Ale, that's going to be where you want to start. True. So this is a great, um, what do they call it? This is a great gateway beer. Gateway beer, yeah. <laughs> They're going to love us. Um, no, this is this is very, very good. Uh, what are you going to rate it? Um, I'm going to say this is this is a 3.6 for me. Four for me. Four for you. All right. Well done. 67 Degrees Brewing. And it's in Franklin, Mass. It's not that far from, say, Gillette Stadium or, uh, you know, I think it's right off of 495. I don't know. I could be wrong. But anyways, go visit the brewery. We want to get there sooner than later. I think they're doing um, something with a local restaurant as well where you can get food. And um, their, their Instagram page is very, they, they keep it updated very, very, very frequently. So uh, if you're in that Franklin area, Franklin... Uh, I don't know. Bellingham. There. Go Sorry. give them a shot. Um, we're, I'm dying to go there. I can't wait. I can't wait for a little we'll field We'll bring trip. Melanie and Steve. Can't wait to see Melanie and Steve. And yeah, just... we'll have to go there with them. And there's another brewery in Franklin. I guess Karen could come too if mm. she really wanted mm-hmm. to. But uh, there is another brewery in Franklin called As Built. I haven't had their beer yet, but Franklin's on the, list. Franklin's on the craft beer come up. So... Still have a little bit left. Do you want to go into the next one? Um, yeah, I would love to go into the next one. But just speaking about these other breweries, we do definitely have to branch out because we have been doing some repeat breweries. Again, we're trying to get through the beers we have in the fridge. I'm going to vitamin C tomorrow, everybody. <laughs> surprise, vitamin, uh, surprise, surprise. I'm going to vitamin C. It's, <laughs> I have to. Um, it's inevitable. But yeah. we do need to start branching out. We so do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us some recs for some good local-ish breweries and then uh, we'll be on the hunt for them and yeah. craft beer sellers or we'll just do yeah, a the craft trip. the craft beer seller in Norfolk just opened up uh, Monday they reopened up that's right uh, they had a issue with COVID so with they closed COVID. they shut down responsibly and uh, they just opened up on Monday so I don't know I might have to pop in there well, well, well. yeah well 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 we're going to be having an adventurous Tuesday so we can always well not many places are open on Tuesdays mostly just the weekends that's true so, but, we'll see. We'll, yeah. keep, we'll keep you guys in the loop. Yeah. What do you think of that? Next beer. Why don't you introduce? I did the other one. So the next beer we have for you guys is from our friend Lynn. Lynn dropped these beers off a couple weeks ago. Yeah, what was the holiday? The Monday holiday? Uh, President's, President's Day. Day. Uh, she dropped us off. Did we already do it? Yes, we did the canned heat beer from Lynn. Oh my God, it was so Lynn good. just blessed us with beautiful beers. I know. So Thank again. Thank you again, Lynn. We... <laughs> We're going to do a Mighty Squirrel Brewing Company out of Waltham, Mass. And this is cookie, Cookies and Cream from their Indulge series. I'm really excited. I think Amanda told us about this one, too. Yeah, I think Which she Amanda's did. Which Amanda's been noticeably absent from these last yeah, couple episodes. Yeah, she has. We'll have to... Dropping way down the list of, of fans. So Karen, um, I think, is at, like, top three, top four, number four. Yeah, she's moving up. Moving up. <laughs> but yeah, Mighty Squirrel out of, uh, out of Waltham, Mass. Um... Cool brewery. I think I mentioned it in the last one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's a very cool brewery. It's big. Um, but local beer, they do... I, I think a lot of people have had... What's it called? Um, what's their sour called? Or their IPA? Space... Oh, um, Space Dust? Space... I don't know. No, 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 no not Space Dust. Um, you um, guys know what I'm talking about. It's in a blue can. Cloud Candy. Cloud Candy. Yes. <laughs> I think a lot of people have had cloud cloud candy. It's very good. It is. It is very good. Thank you. Second one. It was on the tip of my tongue. And on the, the tip of my tongue. As soon as you said blue candy. Space dust is um <laughs> I know. I know. There's just so many. Yes. But anyways, we have the um cookies and cream from Mighty Squirrel. Uh, I'm dying for this. We haven't had I our dinner yet, so we're gonna dive in into dessert. I'm very excited. Are you are you okay life's with this? Life's too short. Have dessert first, and also life's too short to drink mediocre beer. That's why we're here. I said it. You did say that. Um, and a French macaroon beer by Mighty Squirrel. Really? That sounds amazing. Let us know how that is. Ooh, French. Point us in the right direction, French macaroon. please. And it, ooh, this looks fantastic. Three Floyds. 
Ooh, that looks Ooh, so that's good. Ooh, that's nice. I'm so excited. So, 8%. So, we're not leaving the house after drinking this. Nope, definitely not. But, yeah, that's a beautiful color. That's dark. It is. It's very dark. Ooh. That smells good. You ready? I don't know. You ready for cookies oh, and I'm, cream? I'm always ready for but cookies. But it's in their Indulge series, so I did a little research on their um, Instagram, and it looked like they... There's some delicious looking beers in this Indulge series. So really? We might have to hmm. see what else Mighty Squirrel has to offer. Yeah, I'm very okay with that. Yeah. But, as always, share a beer here. We're going to dive in on this Cookies and Cream from Mighty Squirrel. Let's do it. Yep. Cheers. Oh. Not really getting the cookie. No, I really don't taste much of... Not getting the cookie. I, ta I, I taste... I taste the cream. I taste that it's a stout. It's an excellent stout. It's a very good stout. It's very, very good. But it doesn't, I don't taste anything about it being cookies and cream. No, there's no, there's no, a little bit of cream coming through. Uh, cookies, not so much. I mean, I love Oreo cookies. I can't mm -hmm. taste Oreo cookie. I mean, do we have Oreo cookies? Can we, we have, pair it? We have the peanut butter. No. Cookies. <laughs> See, we got cookies. <laughs> We have cookies. It's just not the classic cookies and cream. Right. Okay, so this is very good. Mm. But. Delicious stout. It's a very drinkable, very delicious stout. Yes. But it just tastes nothing like cookies and cream to it me. It just tastes like a regular stout. Yeah, there's a little, there's like the tiniest hit of, a hint of sweetness. Mm -hmm. That's the cream. That's the cream, like you were saying. But, oh, I'm a little disappointed. I'm not. I'm going to drink this. Oh, but I'm totally going to drink it. I'm, I'm thinking like. We're getting some cookies and cream. Yeah, like explosion in my mouth. Yeah. Plus, we, we not that long ago, I mean, it's a totally different f type of fluid, but not that long ago, we had a cookies and cream protein that was just like, punch you in the mouth, cookies and cream. Yeah. Can't get enough of oh, it. Oh, yeah. And then plus, you know. It had like chunks of, not that they could put chunks <laughs> of cookie in there. <laughs> no, they could. But couldn't. there were like chunks of cookie in this protein powder. And that protein company was at Beaumont Nutrition. Beaumont We're Nutrition. not a supplement show here. We are not a supplement but show. But excellent cookies and cream. Their flavors there are awesome. So, right. Um, Lynn agreed with us. Lynn, who gave us the bear, she mm -hmm. said she was a little disappointed as well. I know. It is. But again, it is a very good stout. Excellent stout. I excellent. highly recommend drinking it. Yeah. I'm just really disappointed that it doesn't taste like cookies and cream. Yeah, you don't get the full. No. Sorry, guys. Um, I know. Like, I really don't taste any like chocolatey at all i'm gonna give it another shot i mean i'm gonna keep drinking yeah it it's not going away it's fantastic but disappointed um okay and you could probably i mean you could have an argument that there's some cookie in there some like oreo cookie in there it might be a reach yeah i i'm look. i'm still looking but i'm i'm <laughs> I, I am reaching it might be a reach but um, it, um you, you you can you can get some so to be fair, there is some in here. It's not overpowering, so it's not giving us the full yeah, cookies, and, cookies cream. and cream in my mouth. Um, okay, so for rating, it is a very good stout. I'm enjoying drinking it, but it tastes nothing like it's advertised. Yeah, it's... I'm gonna have to give you guys like a two point four. I'm Ooh, so sorry. I'm gonna go. I'll give you guys a three point one. It's very good. I am enjoying it. We're it, gonna finish this in about two seconds. Oh, it's a good stout. And that I, that's where I'm at. It's mm -hmm. a stout. Um, if they just put stout on it, cool. I mean, it's a. I like the whole label and everything, mm -hmm. and I just wish there was some cookies and cream I in know. my mouth. I know. I'm bummed. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. Um. But again, like it's very good. If we added this to like a mixed four pack, I'd be very happy. I'd be very happy to drink this again. That's true. Not like you're shaking it, but we, it was just said, hold oh. it upside down, let everything flow. Because you can usually feel the weight on the bottom. Mm. Um, that is a good point. We'll have to, we'll, we'll have, have we'll do, try that next time. We will. And then we'll have to take a photo ahead of time. We do have another <laughs> Mighty Squirrel. Um, I think it was a milk stout on deck. So we're going to give Muddy Squirrel another, another shot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, maybe the next show, maybe next week. We don't know. but The possibilities are endless. But again, any of these beers, any of these breweries that for the one beer, they don't get a top rating, we're totally okay with that. That's we, right. Like, everything is different. Everything is kind of on its own. You know, a brewery doesn't get canceled just because of one beer. No, 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 no. And again, we have a totally different... 
taste palette palette whatever you want to call it from other people we have different ones from each other oh yeah amy doesn't like stouts nope i mean she doesn't like uh amy sours loves stouts. <laughs> um I'm, I'm just learning to love them so um i haven't acquired the taste yet but i mean i i can tell you that it doesn't taste like cookies and cream no but it is delicious i've i've, ate, I've eaten a lot of oreo <laughs> cookies in my day I didn't get those Lady Gaga ones because I heard they were trash. I am so, but now. But we, I, I, I've had I've had Oreo cookies. It doesn't taste. It, it's not marketed as Oreo cookie, although there's this, some on the label. Yeah. But it doesn't taste like an Oreo cookie. It sucks. I'm disappointed, but I'm gonna drink it. Oh yeah, I'm totally gonna drink it. I'm going into it as it's just a stout. Mm -hmm. It's a regular stout. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But back to the Lady Gaga Oreos. I'm so intrigued by these. Everybody said that they tasted like absolute trash, and now I want to try it. I want to know what this trash tastes the, like. The best Oreos <laughs> are, the, are the regular old school Oreos, and have you ever had the ones with Pop Rocks in them? Oh, my were, God. They came out for Fourth, Fourth of, of July. July a couple of years ago. Haven't seen them since. They're the fireworks. So Oreo Oreos. cookies. We're going to tag you in this. Um <laughs> Let's bring back those ones with the Pop Rocks. Those are real, those are real good. It's I'll just a eat, party in your mouth. I'll eat those for Christmas. You I will dunk it in into this beer. Yes. And then I will eat the cookie, and then I will continue drinking this delicious beer. Yes. So um, we gave our... We gave our... Ratings. Ratings for that. Yes. Um, again, we've it, it we're not writing off breweries. No, absolutely It's just not. one beer. So, and again, it's not even bad. It's actually no. very good. Yeah, it's very good. It's a very good stout... Um, like I said, I just wish it tasted more like an Oreo cookie. I was really looking forward to it. I was too. I was too. But as always, we have a lot of other beers in the fridge. A lot of other beers, a lot of fun to be had. The next one we might do that I would like to do. Um, Are you giving away secrets already? We, th this beer came from a far off land. Mm -hmm. It's a local brewery to other locations. Yes. <laughs> so... Um, we're gonna, we might be doing that next because so far off land. We have, uh, you're so cute. They're, they're two beers and they told us uh, on the can, they say you, you want to give this away already. Don't spoil it. I know I mean, we're it's excited. A, it's a spoiler alert. I know it's a cliffhanger. Cut, cut it off right there. Cut okay. Off right there. Okay. So we don't know when we're going to do it again next. Um, <laughs> maybe uh, if, if we end up going to, uh, Wormtown on Sunday night, if nobody's in there. We might come live Perhaps from Wormtown. We'll ask. Ooh, mystery. Yeah, I mean, it's a Sunday night. So many night. cliffhangers in this episode. Yeah, a lot of cliffhangers. So, <laughs> we got um, to keep them wanting to come back. We were going to do one of those beers tonight, and then I read the label, and I go, oh, no, 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 no. no we we, got, have we to, gotta wait. We, we have to wait. wait. Yeah. I, so, can't, I can't wait to do that one for you guys. Yes. If, uh, nah, I'm not even going to go into it. Please, yeah, don't. Yeah, don't. This You're is going to be awesome. Don't spoil it. It's well, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. I, know, I, I might have like to go that. on their website and like see how to actually do it, like if there's a technique. Mm -hmm. So all right, it, that that's all we'll say. It's about sleight that. of hand magic, everyone. The spoilers, it's out, it's out. That's we're, all we're, we're gonna say about that. You're gonna have to tune into the next episode yes, to find out, yes. or one of the next few episodes. Oh, we got some out. late additions to the. Uh, I know we got Keebs. We got Mr. Lane. Thank Keeb you guys for coming in. Oh, uh, Keebs is. I understand. He's gonna have me. All day tomorrow. He yeah. doesn't want to just... He, yeah. He's probably like, I can't get enough of Danny. <laughs> Increments. Increments. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Keeps, keeps going to be part of men's night tomorrow. Yeah, men's night, as men's D3 night. called it. <laughs> so, you uh, want to land the plane here? Yeah, let's land the plane. Um, if you guys have been following along on the story, we're trying to, you know, get you guys involved and just keep interacting with you guys as much as possible. Yeah. Um, I have friends that, obviously, I haven't seen in a year, so people are sending me pictures of what they're trying. So I started asking what their ratings were of the beers. So I'm going to post them and we can hold on to it. We can save it yeah. um, to maybe try it in the future. But I love having other people's ratings and just... Just seeing other just beers. Seeing, just seeing other beers. Seeing what other people have in their fridge. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. See what other people are drawn to if they're drawn to the can art or they're just drawn to, to a specific type of beer mm -hmm. um it's interesting to see and the ones that we got the it's excellent i'm liking this that's amy's brainchild right there she came up with that all on her own mm -hmm. so uh we're excited to hear what everybody else is drinking mm -hmm. um again shoot us a message on our instagram yeah let us know yeah and if you have any lingering around 
Toss them my way. Yeah, we'll be happy to help you guys with that. Yeah. Um, but no, it's just, hopefully it's another way to build the community, and then maybe you guys can start following each other. And speaking of follows, Dan Fitz, what is up? So good to see you. Kind of see you. Welcome to the show. Um, I know a lot of Dan, Dan Fitzes. Oh, is it yours? No. No, this is my friend Dan. No, but I know, I know like three Dan Fitz. Fitzpatrick. I, I uh, Fitzgerald, uh, <laughs> Fitzgibbons, like, I know Dan Fitz's, so we're in good well, hands. Well, this one's mine. Well, fine. <laughs> I claim him. That's fine. <laughs> I got James. All right, fine. You can have James. I call James. I call Gal. Ah, uh, you can have Gal. <laughs> but anyways, thank you very much for tuning in with us. I know it's dinner time, so. Yeah, um, thank you for, thank you for stopping by. We're actually going to figure out our dinner situation now. That. Box of cheese, it's calling my name. <laughs> but not really. But again, thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, shoot us what you guys are drinking. Shoot us what your rating is. Uh, make sure if you put it on um, on your Instagram story, tag the brewery, tag us. Mm -hmm. and, um, we'll just, be sure to share it. Yeah, just get the word going around here. And speaking of follows, we just surpassed the 800 mark. Whoa. So I know I'm, I'm, my mind is blown. 800 people just want to... I mean, there's only nine people on now, but 800 people get to look at our beautiful scroll faces. Up, <laughs> scroll, uh, scroll across my ugly mug on Instagram. You have so. a beautiful mug. Um, I don't want to hear it. I do have a beautiful mug. You do. <laughs> Gosh. Um, but yeah, so like we've said before, help us get to 1,000 yeah. and then we will have a little giveaway so we can pick someone. So tell your friends, tell your family, spread the word. There's some... People that are kind of fun, kind of cool, that drink some pretty good beers, you might want to check them out. And I'm s slowly getting all these episodes up on YouTube. If you're on YouTube and you happen to see it come across, just give us a follow. Give us a like. Mm -hmm. um, goes a long way help building the channel up. So the more thumbs up, the more people will see it. So Yeah, that'd be great. Um, I always... That's going to be your baby. Yeah. Because I'm not great with YouTube. You're very good with that. Stuff. I know how to watch CrossFit <laughs> videos and wrestling and what else do I watch? And Disney vlogs. Lots that's, and lots of Disney that's vlogs. That's what I watch on it. But again, thank you guys. Have a safe weekend. Mm -hmm. Share a beer. It's going to be, it's going to rain. So. Yeah, might as well hunker down. Hunker down some, with your lover. Get brews to try. Yeah. And, your um, lovers, your friends. And again, just shoot us what you guys are drinking because we're interested as well. And don't forget to support your local brewery wherever you may be located. All right, guys. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. And we will talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.